Hi, uh, my name is Dr. Charles L. Boyne. I'm a breast cancer surgeon uh, with Annadale Medical Group, and I've been asked to uh, talk a little bit about ductal carcinoma in situ because of a recent uh, paper that was published. So for many years, we've known that uh, cancer cells can develop inside the ducts of the breast, and if those cancer cells remain inside the duct, they're called ductal carcinoma in situ. And fortunately, um, that is associated with an excellent prognosis as long as appropriate surgery has been performed. Uh, the paper that was published reaffirms that and says that the death rate is only about 3% over a 10 to 20 year time span. Uh, and uh, unfortunately, the paper has been represented to say that no surgery was necessary, but that's not true. Um, the good news about DCIS is that if we can do a lumpectomy, uh, we can uh, cure the patient about 97% of the time. The question is, can we do something in addition to surgery that might be even more helpful? And that could be radiation therapy, that could be anti-estrogen pills, and some women have mastectomies. Uh, but in fact, for most women, a lumpectomy is adequate. And at this point in time, we're trying to figure out, uh, through research, what we should do depending on certain biochemical tests that might be done on the cancer cells that would help us figure out what risk this cancer poses to the patient. Right now, we don't know for sure which cancers are going to just slowly percolate and not cause trouble and which ones will become aggressive and invade and metastasize, which means spreading to other organs. So we're still learning, uh, but uh, the paper reaffirms that this is not a bad cancer to develop, but that some sort of surgery is still indicated.